Hi. I, uh, you know, I couldn't find a YouTube video that showed me how to block junk mail in my Hotmail. I mean, there are a lot of different videos, but they don't show this particular Hotmail. I don't know why, but uh, I've kind of figured it out on my own, so I thought I'd make a little video here to show you how I do that. First of all, I create on my desktop just a, a text file, which um, you can put things, you can put the, uh, the domain name or a keyword that you can copy into your, your uh, rules and, and junk email settings. So you minimize this and you go to the first item, this is in my junk mail, and you look at the address here. Now this one doesn't have <coughs> There's a couple different kinds that you know that they'll do. They'll have a, a a domain name, and then some of them will have like a bunch of numbers or letters in front of the domain name, and then the A. And those we treat differently. One that's got a whole whole name like this, I highlight the whole thing. You gotta close this out. Copy, and I go to my little list and put it at the top here. Now once I paste it in, I hit enter so it's ready for the next time and then I can go ahead and delete it because I know I'm going to block it. Go to the next one, this one is, is a whole domain name so I copy paste that into the top part as well. So copy and what I do is I hit control V and then enter to speed up the process a little. And you don't even have to minimize it, just go, go and delete this one go to the next one now this is a pretty strange one but we're just gonna go ahead it doesn't have uh, weird names in it so we're gonna add that to the domain name block list so again control V enter and delete next one is a whole name too I hope there's a another one like this Control V to paste and enter to make it ready for the next time. Delete. Okay, this one is weird too, but um, go ahead and, and I think I'll use this one to show you the other part in case there isn't any more of the kind I need for the bottom list here. So if you get one of those that have uh, you know like a, a bunch of numbers in front of the uh, domain name what I do is I, I take the domain name itself you copy it and put that in this bottom list here so I'm gonna do I'm gonna block it both in junk mail and in domain or actually a word in the senders address okay so let's go ahead and delete this one now here's one of the ones I was talking about where nope this is different nope this is a whole uh, a whole uh, domain name so we'll go ahead and take that put it into our domain list control B enter delete ah here we go okay so I have these word letters or numbers in front of an actual domain name after after the A. So this is one of the ones we're going to put into this uh, <coughs> domain name thing or uh, word block. We're going to block a specific word in a sender's address. Actually we're going to create a rule. So let's delete this one. The last one is, is like that too where it's got you know these numbers of letters and this is actually the same domain name so we can go ahead and, and delete this okay so now we bring up our list here <coughs> excuse me we have a the two lists here we're going to go to the settings up here and at the bottom it says view all outlook settings click that and you've got rules and then you've got junk mail so let's do the rules first because it's at the bottom and i'll tell you why in a second here so you click add a new rule and what I'm going to do is I'm going to you can you can type any prename you want like DEL for delete is what I do 
and then control V that'll paste the last one we did there and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to this list get and take that off there what I'm gonna do is when you do one you cut it so that you know that it's done and then go back to this um, so we put the the word the keyword here is so any <coughs> we're making a rule so that any email that contains this word in your in its in its uh, in the sender's um, address it's like condition here is keywords sender's address includes that's the key right there right click paste select an action I just delete them as you can see there's other things you could do you could forward it back to them or something or redirect to and a lot of other things you could do but I just I just click delete and then uh, save so you do this on all the leave this up here and go to the next one cut add new rule I go DL space and then I go control B again to paste it in there select a condition keywords center's address includes and then I right click and paste if it, so if it includes that word, it's going to delete it. Select an action, delete, and save. Okay, and then the last one, cut. Click add new rule, DL space, control B, select a condition. You can also right click and paste. The condition is the keyword, if the center's address includes this word, right click paste it will delete it and save okay so that's all our rules for right now so we'll close this the next on the list is is all the domain names we want to block in junk mail so we're gonna go to settings again down the bottom we're gonna go junk mail okay that'll take a second to come up and while that's coming up we'll cut our first one I'll start from the bottom so that you know you know where you're at now on this thing sometimes this highlights and you have to like click away from it but uh, you click add and then you can right click and paste or go control B so that it, it, it uh, paste that in there hit enter <coughs> and you see it's in the list now don't don't click save yet on, on when you're doing junk mail and just go to your list and take the next one right click cut and you can just go to it rather than minimizing but see how sometimes this lights up so you may have to click and I'm going control B enter go to our list next one cut you can just click up here see how this lights up sometimes it's just a click away until that stops lighting up click add control B enter and the next one. Cut. Add. Let's see what's doing that. We gotta. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What did you happen there? Click add. Control D. Enter. Next one. Cut. And control V to paste, enter. It takes a second, even on a fast computer for some reason. And the last one, after the last one, you can click close so that the next time <coughs> you go to uh, use the, uh, the list, you can, you'll have a blank one. So click, click uh, don't save. So it's blank when it started. Then you still have to add that last one. Control V, enter. Okay, now we have all our. It, it, it doesn't show up, but they're, they're there. And then click save. Take a second and then close. And you're all done. Hope this helps you out. Thanks. Bye.